Hi, my name is Casey and I go by Vanity Case Makeup on Instagram. I am a makeup lover. Um, like when I say makeup saved my life, I'm not kidding. And yeah, so basically I've been trying to film a YouTube video for probably the past two years and just haven't got around to it. People have been telling me, you gotta get a YouTube, you gotta get a YouTube. And um trying to get a YouTube right now. So um yeah, we're gonna do a get ready with me featuring the lovely new unearthly cosmetics leather and lace palette and the House of L palette, both new. Um this one's by Def Cosmetics. Um I just received them within the last couple of days and I figured I would Smear some makeup on my face and show you how I did it. And yeah, that's the long and short of it. So if you're interested in any of that, hang out and roll the footage. Hi, good morning. We're going to create a look with the new Unearthly Cosmetics Leather and Lace Palette, which I just got, plus the Ethereal Highlighter, which is a purple. Um, colored highlighter and possibly some other things because um, I have been using and loving the House of L palette. Um, so yeah, so just keep watching. So I left this in to show the temporary tattoos from the company Blue Lou on Amazon. They were about six ninety nine for a sheet of sixty six, and they're basically temporary tattoos. I just basically blend them in with the N Y X Lift and Snatch brow pen and brow powder. My eye primer, Gerard Cosmetics. This has been my favorite. Um, I love my P. Louise, but this has replaced my P. Louise because for some reason it just is smoother, in my opinion. So I'm gonna turn on some lights because it's a little overcast today. And when I get done, I'm gonna powder that because like, you can still see the shine because it is essentially a temporary tattoo. So just a little bit of pressed or um, loose powder will take that shine down to where I want it. So now I'm gonna prime the eyes and clean up the brows all in one. Now I really had to rely on this the way I was doing my brows before. Now it's kind of like just fixing things, um, making a nice little stopping point so that my it looks like these are my brows and I just cleaned them up I mean I may add a couple little hairs at the end when I'm done Do the other end. Sometimes I didn't use much, but today I'm just trying to go fast because I don't have a lot of time. So that's about what I put on the brush. Sometimes I pat it in, sometimes I swipe it on. Either way, I always take a sponge to it after and blend out any creases, any weird uneven spots. So that's why I'm not being like super careful.
kind of taking this a little bit underneath. I just use whatever's left on the brush pretty much because I end up wiping a lot of this away because really blown out under eyes is just something that I found what I've tried doesn't look great on me so I tend not to mess with them too much so um, I'm going to put my stuff back because I'm trying to keep this new vanity nice and clean. I grab this little sponge thingy that I got from the dollar store that I actually love because being on a stick it makes it so you don't have to get your hands dirty. Um, it saves me a little bit of time cleaning my hands off. Mm, just sponging it in and cleaning up any crease line. And we can do this throughout because um, like when you start doing one eye Generally, the other one's going to start creasing, so you could do that again, and it'll just go right back. I found, at least with this base and with, like, P. Louise or even the ABH base, um, or the Juvia's Place, those are the ones that I generally use. Um, with all of them, you can just basically uncrease them when you're ready to start working on this eye. I'm going to add some hair strokes probably at the end if I have time. All right, so we're going to figure out what we're going to do. I really don't know. Okay, so you could do so much with this palette. Um, you could keep it real simple and go in rows. And just have a beautiful green look, a beautiful warm tone, bricky kind of orangey look, or a burgundy. Um, and then look at those beautiful shimmers. Like, I really had to get this palette in person to see how pretty these shimmers were. Um... I don't really know what I want to do still, but I think I'm going to jump around a little bit. So I'm just going to dip in to Whiskey, which is this bricky, the lightest orange. I'm going to pat that out a little bit. And I think, I mean, I'm going to do a cut crease because that's like what I do. But um, I don't know. So I'm going to pack this in the front of my crease here. And as usual, blending nicely upon first wipe. fluffy brush and with no product just kind of blend that I'm happy with that blend very subtle but I'm going to take a little tiny bit of the same shade and tag back over it for a little more of a gradient there and drag it up and it's blending beautifully and I'm trying to figure out if I want to go on with orange more or if I want to do green or burgundy and I'm thinking burgundy so I'm going to go in with Venetian which is the lightest like um burgundy shade Give myself a two-tone crease and figure out what kind of shape I'm going to do. Oh, by the way, I put tape if you haven't figured that one out. Um, generally, I just like the line it gives me. I don't have to worry about cleaning it up with a makeup wipe if I want something sharp. Um, but I do have a little tiny bit of space here in case I want to blow my lower lash line out just a hair. Because usually, like I said, anything blown out on my lower lash line, I don't love it to be really dragged down. It just makes me look dead. And like, sexy dead is a good thing, but like, actually dead, not my vibe. 
If it's your vibe, that's cool, but not for me. So I'm basically just trying to even out the shape and the blend between the orange to the um, whiskey and Venetian are the shades. I'm just using that same brush. And these are blending beautifully. I think I may have had some sparkles on these brushes because I got a little bit of sparkle going on here. So I'm not sure that that's the palette or, I mean, I don't see any over spray or anything like that. Those sequin shades, which I love sequins, but I think it's probably just something that was left over on my brush because it's very likely because I just spot cleaned a lot of these. Um, the other day I hate washing brushes because it's not the washing part it's the waiting for them to dry because I'm always like oh I could use that oh I could use that but I know it's necessary when you do makeup as much as I do to keep your brushes clean so I do like the elf spot cleaner it was like I think between six and ten dollars and it gets the job done for quick in between all right, so I'm okay with this blend, but I want to kind of mesh the two together a little bit. So I'm going to figure out if I want to use redwood or if I want to just use, no, we're going to go back in with whiskey and keep it the same color that I already had on and just kind of build up the bottom of that gradient a little bit. So that's a little bit better. That gives me a little more seamlessness from the orange to the burgundy. So I like that. Um, I wonder if I should catch the eye up first. I don't know, but um, uh, you know what, we'll be rebellious and take. So I know a lot of people hate these ABH brushes that I got from all the palettes, but I have like seven of them and they're some of my favorite this end and this end but I usually go in with this end and it's good for packing and blending that's why I like it so we're gonna go with mahogany is very warm tone for the purple and then aubergine is more of a cool tone mm. I think we're gonna go in with mahogany first and see that would be my typical, look at the pigment on that. Like I barely just swirled my brush around a little tiny bit. Like that's why I love Unearthly because everything they do is just fire. Like I haven't tried a single Unearthly product that I haven't liked or loved actually. Cause really I love their lip formulas. I love their highlighter formulas. Um, I mean, it goes without saying their eye products. I'm just gonna pack that on and blend it. Just kind of getting a good seamless blend. Really, it does the work itself because it's similar tones and it's not hopping too far. The gradient's not too far off, so it's like it does most of the work itself. Like, look at that pigment. Like, I think I'm gonna go with something a little more simple today. I haven't decided if I want to use these shimmers or if I want to use the one I've been loving from the House of L. And just do an all warm tone look. Even though it's going to be colorful, it's going to be all warm tones. Which, um, hmm. I think I'm going to use Redwood since we went in with a little... No, you know what? We're going to use Saddle in the front of the crease just to build up the depth. Depth a little bit, um, slightly, not anything crazy, but see, like, I love these brushes, I don't care what anybody says. Like, I don't touch a lot of my ABH palettes, um, other than the Norvina ones, those are some of my favorites. The white in that is my favorite, um, matte white ever, which actually would look really nice on today's look and in a white inner corner um but i don't know what i want to do yet so all right i'm gonna hop off and catch this eye up and i'll be right back okay so the other eye's caught up and i've decided that even though 
the shimmers are really pretty um, from the Unearthly palette. I am going to also use some from the House of L because I just can't get this freaking Zor L, these two Zor L shades out of my head. I've been wanting to use them literally in every look. Um, look at, look at that, look at, look at that, 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 that middle row. Like I literally, if I like bad to the brow, Millie, um, the girl who does all the multi-chromes, um, or does a lot of Indian multi-chrome content on our channel said, if I were multi-chrome, I would be this shade. And yes, I would be all three of those, but really that one is like stunning. And I am not somebody who uses like darker multi-chromes all over the lid and this palette has got me wanting to. So anyways. I'm going to take some glitter glue and I'm not really going to do um, a like formal cut crease. I'm just going to kind of outline where I want my shimmer to or map out where I want my shimmers to go with this P. Louise um, 7072 brush, which I have a bunch of these. These are great. I love these. They're so soft. doesn't matter how many times you wash them. They're awesome for cutting your crease, for mapping stuff out, um, cleaning up your eyebrows, anything, like really anything that has a little bit of detail. So I just put like that much glitter glue, which is probably too much for one eye, but I might, um, as you'll see, I flip the brush around and kind of start spreading it. And then I like to kind of tap it all out. I'm really taking it to about here and then I'll end up smudging mattes this way to you know meet the shimmer sometimes I use q-tips and micellar water like I literally use that all the time but right now I'm being lazy and I just want to do something that doesn't require that extra step which really, I mean, it doesn't if you can get over your mat with your shimmer with no, um, with nothing showing through. Like, you don't have to cut the crease. It just makes it easier to follow the line, but I'm being lazy, so. Actually, I think I need a little more. I'm not in love with that shape, so I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm supposed to pull your eye, but I am because I want my line to be. A little more defined. So I'm just going in with a little more product and following my eye socket. And you know what? I'm not liking it because of the back end. So I'm going to um, bring that down a little. product in the brush and I don't want to do the most and add more so um do that you can go wipe this off or I'm going to use it again so I'm not going to bother and I'm taking this is an old um JS11 which I, I still love my Jeffree Star brushes I that I have no problem with Jeffree Star I didn't do anything to me so um I still use his products I haven't been much lately just because his latest releases haven't really been anything special for me they're great and I'll probably end up getting them if they go on sale but I'm gonna wait till I can probably pick them up the two for one on the palettes because he has had that sale recently so mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go in with the Zorel because I know it's just calling to me just picking up a little bit um maybe a little bit more and i'm gonna go like this and start by patting it in because i like the finish it gives me more and i think it enhances my texture on my eyes less if i go in like this like look at that and that's not even a heavy application that's just like literally just bouncing it in like oh my god it's so pretty Picking up a little more and going in a little heavier. I just wanted to get a base down with like a kind of a 
more blended glittery deal and then I go back on top of it and kind of define the where the shimmer meets the matte a little bit more and so yeah I'm happy with that I think I'm going to keep it like that and I'm going to use um a little more just a tidbit more all right and then I'm going to use one of the unearthly um shimmers which I think I want to use the orange one even though Chantilly, the white one there is calling to me, but this is like super sparkly. So I think, excuse me, it'll go really good with this one. So I'm going to pick up another um, one of these JS brushes. This is a 10 and it's similar. I just like these fluffier brushes. Um, they're flat, but they're still like they have some tooth or like unevenness to them. Um, I hope that's what the word means. But, all right, so I'm picking up Quanta Point de Spirit, which is this orange. I'm gonna tap it in. You see, that's pretty. When I was tapping it in, but it's going on like butter, so I'm just gonna smooth it on. Like, look at that, no issues. No issues at all. So, so easy that's one thing with like more traditional shimmers is that sometimes they are a lot easier to work with because they're not flaky and they're literally you can pick it up and with your finger or a brush and just smooth it on and be done with it so okay so I just need to fix the back half and I'm going to go back in with the same brush I used with mahogany and pick up a little bit more of it on there and just finish that little gap that I had and just kind of slightly blend it because it's going to get sparkles on it. So that's why pretty much everything I own has sparkles on it. Even if I've washed it, like it holds sparkles, which well, is fine. That's no big deal. I'm not upset about it. So, all right. Um, I'm going to catch this eye up and I'll be back to do something on the lower lash line. Okay, I want to do this on camera because this is super satisfying for some people. Look at that. Look at those wings. And like, I want to point out too that I have very minimal fallout. Like, almost none. So, I said I was going to go back and we're going to do something on my lower lash line. But, I actually need to um, finish my face first because I kind of hate doing stuff on the lower lash line sometimes until after so I'm gonna take a makeup light and clean up what very little fallout I do have um wipe my sparkles off my hands so I don't get them everywhere else even though that's fine I'm not opposed to having sparkles all over so and clean up this little bit here from the outside of the tape literally it's like just this little bit right here and I'm gonna put my primer on so that that way I can soak in while I do my lashes all right so this is almost a finished eye look so I'll be back with more of my face on I'm not gonna bore you guys with that and um yeah so I'll be right back Okay, so this is the finished look before work, except for lips, my freckles, and um, mascara on the bottom lashes. So I'll be back after work to record what it looks like all styled. Bye! Hello! So I just got out of work and I just touched this up a little bit. Um, basically just powdered my face and added a different lippy. And this is the finished look. And oh my god, can we talk about, first of all, can we talk about the pigment? I mean, this is hours and hours in the shine, you know, with very minimal creasing. I just had to tap it out a little bit. Even though I used glitter glue, that's normal and that's fine. It's a-okay. I'm fine with that. Um, because it still looked phenomenal when I walked in the door before I touched anything up. Um, I mean, it was like almost 90 degrees today, so pretty much all of my makeup lasted great. I used 
Urban Decay Hydromaniac, um, No Filter, NYX Press Powder, I think um, Bear With Me Concealer, that's been one of my favorites lately. I mix the Dupe for the Milk, which is the Power Group Powder by e.l.f., and then the Laneige um, Glowy Makeup, Glowy Makeup Serum. Um, I mix those together for my primer. And then this is how the highlighter comes packaged. Um, can we talk about how beautiful that is? So I know colorful highlighters aren't for everybody, but I mean, the looks I do aren't for everybody anyway. So I mean, um, I was a little intimidated. I wasn't sure what this was going to come out like. Um, but really, like, I love it because it's like a glowy blush almost for me, for my skin tone. Um, and I think it would work for any skin tone because I'm pretty fair so I think this would look great on a deeper skin tone too this is ethereal or ethereal sorry um yeah English great can't do it <laughs> um then I have alien the black um lip liner by NYX my favorite and then these two are violet smoke and SDFU I have just a little slight ombre going on on the lips um, Juvia's Place Light Bronzer, and I think that's it, um, and pretty much, yeah, like, I mean, there's many, many more looks to come, for sure, for sure, um, from both the House of L and the Leather and Lace palette, but I couldn't resist using that beautiful, um, ooh, what's it called? I forget. Zor L, the shade Zor L. I couldn't resist using that. I mean, I've literally not wanted to stop using it since I got it. The whole palette is gorgeous. Oh, and I Cosmic Yellow. That's also NYX. Um, Epic Wear Liner in the Waterline. So yeah, I think that's everything. And you know, um... also just to give a formal review, this one is the Unearthly Leather and Lace. It retails for, I think, $40. I'm not sure if it's in stock right now at the time this is going up, but um, I know she always restocks everything fairly quickly. Um, it has three beautiful sparkly shimmers and then nine pigmented beautiful mattes. These are, like, neutral for color lovers, 100%. Like, this is a very much more wearable palette um than some of the other color stories if you're afraid of color like if you're afraid of bright blue and you know like neon green and bright pink and all that this would be a wonderful place to start if you wanted to try the brand or you just wanted to add a little bit of color to your makeup um you know collection this would be a wonderful palette because you have you know beautiful shades you could do just like a wash of color you could do just like I said keep it in rose like I already mentioned that and I know other creators have mentioned that so I'm not going to keep saying the same stuff that other people are saying but like 10 out of 10 would recommend this and any other unearthly palette for that matter and then the house of L I freaking love this palette so 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 much I love adept mattes they are pigmented, blendable, um, like, if I had to compare them to something, hmm, a lot of people say Natasha Denona, um, I can see that, um, I mean, personally, I like Adept's mattes more, just because I like their color stories and their shimmers and stuff, like, just them as a brand, as an aesthetic, everything about them. A million percent recommend um, I have like every palette except for the plain Jane remastered and I use all of them frequently shimmers mattes 10 out of 10 would recommend um, this is such a unique shade I have one other shade in my collection that is similar not the same this is so sparkly this Allura zor -El is so 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 beautiful um, I have another look up on my Instagram Right now, um, the first look I did with the palette, I used this in the Carazorel, and that is another really pretty look. Um, 
So yeah, I think this one retailed for $49. It's not in stock right now, but I know she is going to do one restock, but it's limited. So if you want this palette, I would say definitely keep an eye on Adept's Instagram and, you know, get the information when she's going to restock it. Um, cause it's, it's worth having if it's something that you like, um, or you're, you're interested in this color story, I would say a hundred percent. I recommend it. So yeah, that's how I feel about these eyeshadows. This is my first video. So I would so appreciate any feedback. I know I need to work out some kinks um, for sure and I just need to push myself to upload because I've been trying to upload for the past two years and I'm not getting where I want to be um, as a creator by not doing. So here I am and hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed wearing the look. It's a normal look for me. This is every day for me so I mean you know. Um, but yeah, comment below, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my Instagram, Vanity Case Makeup, underscore, in between the two, three words, Vanity, underscore, case, underscore, makeup. And that's it. Toodaloo! At Vanity Case Makeup.